Hi YouTube, this is a robot I built. Uh, it was about $200 to make. Uh, it uses an Arduino Mega for all the processing. It has two OSEP uh, LS3006 servo motors, a uh, 12 amp hour battery, uh, so it has about 5 hours battery life. It also has an IP camera on the front. Uh, I have two CDs for wheels, but I'm going to 3D print some nicer looking ones that are also sturdier and more traction, things like that. I have the tape around the side. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll move it a bit closer. Uh, I've got tape around the side for a bit more traction. Uh, so, yeah, I've got my, on the back, I've got my Ethernet Shield plus Arduino Mega. Uh, I got both of them for Christmas to replace my old Arduino Uno, so I have much more I.O. and stuff. Uh, the battery on the front is just a very simple USB battery. Um, I got it off of Amazon for $60. Uh, the IP cameras from Tiger Direct, uh, it was $45. It was the cheapest one I could find because I didn't need very much. Uh, it's got some very short Ethernet cables on the back. Uh, I made them myself using a crimping tool and a thousand foot worth of uh, Cat5e, which I got for my for Christmas. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I have a Linksys WRT 54G, which I got for six dollars from Value Village, which is a nearby store. They basically just sell used products. Uh, I've got a wheel on the back. On the bottom, I mean, well, the back and the bottom. Uh, it's just a simple swivel wheel. Um, you know, it's from Home Depot, that kind of stuff. Um, so, it does have a tendency when I'm driving it through my computer, because it runs over wireless from anywhere in the world. Uh, it does have a tendency to go slightly to the uh, left, because uh, I, I have to 3D print something it goes under everything that makes all the wheels connect together so they're not just taped on because uh, one of the wheels sort of is tilted like this uh, and it's causing it to turn to the left um, I guess that's about it uh, I guess here's some footage so here's where I control my robot from it's just my computer I'm very close but it could be anywhere in the world controlling this in theory. I haven't tested that yet, but I'm going to soon, just by port forwarding everything, uh, which is just the IP camera and the Arduino. now. Um, so here's the C-Sharp program I wrote. Uh, my mouse is on it. Uh, it was very simple to write. All it does is it goes, it interfaces my joystick. It converts it into a servo-friendly number, sends it directly to the Arduino, and then the Arduino uses some code I also wrote to write it uh, into a PWM signal that goes into the servos. So here it is in action. I'm going to move my c -sharp program out of the way. It, this does have audio, although I turned it off to prevent interference because I'm so close. So here it is. Okay, so I'm going to go straight now, and you'll be able to see its tendency to turn by itself, which is pretty annoying, so I can't wait to get that thing 3D printed. Uh, it'll go on the bottom, and then it should be go perfectly straight. I also printed a place for the battery. I printed some wheels, all that good stuff. Uh, it'll be much better when I have all that. So here it is. I'm going to go straight forward, and you'll be able to see it goes to the left. The turn is actually quite sharp, uh, so I can't go forward very long before I have to stop, realign, and keep going. So that's pretty annoying. I can't wait to get it fixed. It'll be much better. Uh, so I guess that's it. My robot, it's pretty nice. 
Uh, I can't wait to control it from somewhere else, like a friend's house, for instance. Uh, I might record myself doing that if you want. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye now.